and welcome back to my videos today I'm on Windows 11 and I want to look at an option called caption ed now it does live captions it's great for transcription it could be online content such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Skype, Panopto maybe it's a live lecture or maybe a meeting you can use this software to actually transcribe in real time also add notes now as well which is great as you're listening to give more context to the transcription that you're listening to as well but you can do this during and after the recording as well so if you've seen my videos before you know i like to get right stuck in show you how to use it and you can make your own decision open up caption ed website and you can try this out for free at the top right hand corner give it a little go if you're a dsa student you've got funding then you'll get this free but if not you can still purchase it and buy a subscription monthly which is a decent price because the transcription looks very accurate so once you've done that now I've already installed this so I can go to login and there's my account there and this is my dashboard now really important the dashboard before you do anything actually because it's where it uploads everything into a cloud because you can download the caption at Windows desktop or the Mac then it uploads safely onto here and then you can save your files delete them download them or even organize your notes before you do anything select the option here install apps depending whether you're on Windows or the Mac. You've got a Windows desktop application you can download and install. What that means is you can then, as I said earlier about record anything be on your desktop, externally with a mic, so if you're in a live lecture, for example, or meeting, or online content as well. Same goes for the Mac. Quick point here, I've not tried this out yet, I'm not gonna to lie to you, Android app or iPhone app, but I'll download and do a video later on and see how good they are. These two options, Microsoft Edge browser extension and Google Chrome browser extension. Now you're probably wondering if we're downloading the Windows desktop application that we called everything, why do we need this plugin at the top? Here it is, I've got it installed, tap on it. When you've got online content like YouTube, some people watch Panopto, don't they, through their browser. Probably a quicker way to use that plugin to do it quickly via your browser. It's specific to Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. The Windows desktop does it anyway if you want. I'll go through that with you in a minute. Just select it, install it, and then you can choose your subject here. I've got British English, you've got Health and Life Sciences, Social Sciences and Law. They work pretty well apparently. Tap off that. Then you've got your font size, text size as it's actually transcribing. And then you can choose a background colour and font if you find the white background is a bit too stressful for you. And that's it basically, you just play back the online content and select the start button and off you go. Tap off that. But today I've already done the Google Chrome browser extension. I'm just going to select and download on Windows desktop application. Bottom left hand corner, tap on it. And we're now going to install, just minimize the browser, get that out of the way. Follow all prompts, it probably asks you to log in, so log in when it does. And here we go. There's not a lot to the user interface. It's quite simple, you can get up and running quickly. A couple things though, quickly. On the left, this takes you straight back to your library dashboard. If I tap on it, it takes me straight back to where we were before. And remember underneath, you've got all your recent sessions there. If I come to the left, it's got my library as well. So then I can start, for example, downloading. If I select this option here, I can download in text or word format. And I can delete or rename there as well. I can also upload content using the upload button. Why well, I'm here actually, I want to go back to home. You've got an upload media option there as well, where you can upload a media files. So you might have recorded an audio file from a dictaphone. Just put it on your desktop or Mac, upload it, and then you can start working with that file. But I want to minimize that. I want to look at the Windows desktop. Pretty similar on the Mac. Next option, do a new session. On the right just to upload to your cloud and then you've got your help options and your profile now i'm going to select start new session because i want to record this it's a lecture let me just minimize that to the right i don't want to see how well it picks up and the lecture is psychology lecture series self justification in everyday life now on the left here you need to set it up asking you what would you like to record would you like to record screen well yes i do so you could use that for, as I said, Panopto, Teams, Skype, anything you're running from your desktop coming through your computer. Then you need to choose the application you want. Now, if you don't see it in here, select the refresh as well. It should show up 
be it Panopto or Teams, it should show up that window for you. Then all you do is tap on it to so select it. It's a little tick, select next. Important bit, which audio would you like to record? Well, in this case, it's through the computer. So record sounds playing on your device. But if it's live, then you want the microphone option. Get yourself a half decent microphone, I reckon. Uh, probably a directional mic. Internal mics are a lot better than they used to be, but I don't think they still cut the mustard, do they? I think they do on the new Macs, but have a little play with that. But anyway, you can record live meetings, lectures. And this option here is a new option. I've not tried either, so have a little play with that. Great for meetings, headphones required. Well, I'm going to leave it on computer. Again, language subject, like I showed you earlier in a plugin in Google Chrome, exactly the same. Choose the one that corresponds for you, which is English. Well, I click the start session option, it's going to start recording and wait till it hears sound. So let's give it a go. So I'm going to click play. Those of you and who select start are session. my students in social psychology had the opportunity to select her book that she wrote with Turn uh, you down and touch so you can hear me. On the topic of which she's going to be talking. And there you can see it's now actually transcribing so, for me. See top left hand corner, I can end the session there if I want as well. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm very happy to be here, and I'm very happy to be here without snow. This was very thoughtful of you to... Now, clicking pause quickly, because I want to show you something. Can you see when there was a gap in the speech, it actually separated it from 0 to 16 seconds, and then he welcomed the doctor. And that started on 24 seconds. So it can't identify between voices, but it can identify where there's a pause or gap between the voices. So that gives you some, some kind of context to work with rather than just having loads of text altogether. The other thing I like about that is even adding a bit of punctuation there for you. That makes more sense of the transcription as well for you. What we to show you quickly is this watch. So it's got copy to notes here. So you've got an option here to add notes as you're listening as well. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to select play again. Welcome me back to Michigan without a blizzard, <laughs> which I was well aware could easily have been a problem. Um, I love social psychology. I've been a social psychologist before I even knew what that Copy to was notes. So I'll copy the text over and I can add additional notes. I think a social psychologist is a therapist who gives a lot of parties. <laughs> they don't really have, not really clear. Also, auto scroll, you can turn off and on. I like to leave it on. Again, you can change your text size. A better idea because I want to give you one of the best, neatest, most interesting theories that social psychology has to offer. I'm going to pause and I'm going to select end session just in a second. You can also add an attachment, so actually upload it to your dashboard online. So there we go, I'm happy with that. So I'm now going to select the end session top left and end session and upload. Give it a name, call it lecture one. It's bit too much for me to type out save and close and up here it'll be uploading tap on it it's all up to date now if I come to the left here it takes me to my library drag it over and I can maximize it and there it is it's just still uploading that's why it's saying recording now so give it a little while depending on the size of it and there you go it's done now I'm in the home tab on my caption Ed dashboard come to the right see two minutes 30 come to the right I've got the date now I'll select download I can download it's a text file or document file but bear in mind let me show you I'm going to download it in Word open it up it's not quite separated it doesn't separate it for you but I'll show you how to access that in a minute online based okay minimize that so what I want to do is you can also come to the right rename or delete but I want to select lecture one option by tapping on it can you see the image on the left there? That's when I clicked it at the beginning on my Windows desktop app to what I wanted to recall. So it just gives you that one image. In the middle is all the transcription. And on the right, I've got some notes. Now I want to show you something with the notes in a minute. Before we do, come to the bottom here. You can even upload a slideshow in PDF format. So if you've got a lecture, you can convert a PowerPoint into a PDF format quite easily through PowerPoint and then you can upload the slides and that way you can go through them all one at a time so you've got context with your image on the left transcription in the middle and you can add your notes on the right again it's good for lectures or meetings or anywhere so all I'm going to do is come here I want to show you something here quickly now click the cursor where you want to read back from so I want it read back from here 
click the play button by the way change the speed here jump forward 15 or jump back 15 seconds but i want to click play have a quick please listen. welcome to today's last present i'm going to pause it now i might decide actually i want to add a note so i can copy these see them there by the way you can delete them here as well if you want so what i'm going to do is type in there a note That would do, it's been a pleasure. And I'm going to save it. Now, if you look where it's saved to automatically, it does it in the timeline. Saved it at 16 seconds because that's when I actually created the note. So let me show you. I'll go to the first one. I'll click on, I'll click on she and select play. Psychology had the opportunity to select and pause. And again, you might want to copy the notes over. And you can add a note. You don't have to copy the notes over. I'll just put intro and select save. And then you can see the timeline 003. So that way you can sync your notes to the transcript timeline in the middle and also have your images to the left to work with. You can also attach something here and you can even upload an image file if you want as well. Yeah, that'll do. That's been a few mates about 30 years ago fine body of women and once that's done come top left hand corner come out there for me takes you back to your library and as I said earlier the little plug in at the top here does the same thing as the desktop application does the caption there but it's more integrated into your browser makes it quicker and you can also do live lectures so don't forget so give that a try as well last of all go to settings and we'll go to usage history I can search here Look at the top, I've got weekly usage, 13 minutes, I've got 21 minutes left, and I can even edit and manage my account on my subscription. Tap on it. And if I went to billing, it would show you my subscription and what I've got left. So this is just a quick overview of using CaptionEd. I've tried it on YouTube, and I've tried recording a video online from a distance using a mic, and it still transcribed pretty well. In a live environment, obviously the sound's got to be half decent to record for caption it to transcribe it for you so it's important have a good mic and try and get as close to the speaker as possible thanks for watching